All right, guys, dispatch just told me we have a agriculture accident. It's on Highway 18, right by the police station. There we go. We got the lights on. Sirens are going. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. All right, guys, I'm in the Ram Rebel. I love this. I love using this as a cruiser. It works out really good, especially when we have to go on dirt roads and different stuff like that. Or say I, I chase somebody down a field or something. There we go. We're moving. Yeah, I got to shoot up here. Like I said, past the police station. It's actually just past the police station and about a mile uh, down and on the right, it sounds like. I'm getting word it was a blown tire and he got thrown into the ditch he was going roughly 40 45 miles an hour sprayer fully loaded down with liquid so it gets super heavy when you have all that liquid in there so we are we are moving and it sounds like trauma hit his head on the glass he had his seatbelt on but he still got thrown pretty hard pretty violently i couldn't imagine being in a sprayer going 40 45 miles an hour and then you're so high up and it just comes to a complete halt you get thrown into the ditch all right i think i see some other deputies are responding to this right now all right there it is there you can see the spray. Holy cow, that's not a small one. All right, they're helping them. They're on scene. Perfect. There we go. It looks like Ian's already here. Officer, officer, do you see the sprayer? Yep, it's right here. It's, it's pretty bad. It looks like pop tire left front. Yes. Okay, that's it looks bad. like he cracked the window. Now, I wonder if that's him. How are we going to get up there and help him? It, was he unconscious when you got here? I think he was. I just pulled up to block off traffic. Let's uh, hop up in here. Yep. Garrett, can you give me a hand? Yep, yep. Here okay. you go. Three, two, one. Two, one. There you are. Okay, grab my hand. <laughs> I'm going to try and jump in there with him, okay? Yep. Okay. Be careful. There you go. All right, buddy. You feeling all right? Okay. Yeah, kind of. He doesn't look good, guys. He has trauma on his head. Hit the front, or maybe hit the steering wheel. I don't know. He hit something. We're going to try and get you out of here, all right? Got it. Nice and easy. Just go ahead. I'm, I'm, Undo your seatbelt there. Okay. All right, Garrett, we're going to open the side door here, and we're going to try and walk him out. Okay, okay get him nice and slow. All right, buddy, hold on to my arm here. We'll walk you out through the... Is EMS on their way? Uh, they should so. be. They were on yeah. another call, so... Oh, okay. It's, uh, they're about 10 minutes out. Here, let's uh, let's see what we can do for him here with our tourniquets and stuff. Yeah, you got an option right. take in the back. Yeah, he's got a pretty big cut on his arm that's still bleeding. You see that up on his shoulder? Yeah, go grab bandage real quick. All right, here, come sit on our tailgate here. There we go. Here, All right, sir, maybe, how maybe just jump down and lean against it so that we can help you. There you go. There you go. I'm going to wrap the bandage around, all right? All right, you're good. He's all bandaged. All right, buddy, it sounds like EMS is on the way, Garrett. Do you know how long? Did they say? Yeah, it seems like they're around five to ten minutes out. Uh, the, apparently, traffic is heavy where they are, so it's okay. gonna be a few extra minutes. <laughs> we would transport you ourselves, but we just, with your head, we would like to get you on a stretcher. Um, do you feel like you have a concussion at all? I guess when, when, what's, uh, when's your birthday? Um, nine, eight. Hear it? This doesn't look good. Uh oh. Okay. Four, you, what you year were you born? What year were you born? Fourteen, maybe. You, I don't know. Uh, what, what, what year is it? It's 20. Yep. 20 what? 20. 20. There you go. All right. He, he's he's still kicking, Garrett. He Officers. knows the year. That's something. Hello. Yep. Yep. Hey, I'm here. EMS has arrived. All, All right, right. Perfect. Let's get that uh, stretcher this, out. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Keep holding on my arm here, sir. Don't don't get too tipsy on us. Yeah. They'll be coming over here. You don't got to move. Don't worry. <laughs> All right, here they are. All right, let's yep, walk you to it. Nice yeah, so easy. he probably has some kind of concussion from what we can tell. All right. And then, yeah, he, he's his memory is going a little bit. Uh, he was able to remember the year, but his birthday was a bit of a struggle. All right, you just hang in there, buddy. There we go. All right, he's off just like that. There we go. Nicely done. Uh, what do we do about this? <laughs> yeah, I'm, man, I don't really know. So I was like, blown we're gonna have to get maybe a farmer down here, honestly, with his tractor and just kind of pull it out, maybe. Yeah, that'd probably be the best bet. I don't just like should we keep the road closed for now? Are you thinking or? Um, yeah, we should probably keep it closed and let single traffic come through. Okay. Yeah, we could and definitely do that. It's uh, and then we can monitor that. But let's get somebody down here with the tractor. I'm gonna maybe go run up at that farm and see if they if they're busy or what they're doing. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. All right. All right, big cats. Not good. So I went up to the farmhouse and they couldn't help me at all. They actually don't have a tractor, probably big enough to pull this out. So uh, that's not good. And so I'm thinking we're just gonna call this in and have a tow truck company probably pull it out. Okay. That sounds good. Less work for us. <laughs> yeah. I think. I think we can leave the scene. Let's throw some cones out maybe. And I mean, sticking over the road just a bit. Yeah, it's like, it's enough that it's an issue, but. Yeah, and it's, if somebody sees it, like if somebody misses this and hits it, it's their fault. I mean, kind yeah, of, like, it's not good to like say, that, but. That's on them. <laughs> they, they shouldn't be driving if they're doing that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that, you're that right. shows something else. <laughs> All right, boys, let's, let's get out of here. We need to get back on patrol. We, um, yeah, I got, think we're good. a busy day. I think we're good. All right. All right, I'm going to the it. south side of town, and then I might jump over the bridge, too. Hit up yeah, Wisconsin. I'll probably follow you. Pretty busy over there. Okay. Let me know if you guys ever need anything. All yeah, right. we'll be on radio. All right, guys, I'm going to shoot back into town, and then I might, I might 
cruise around the Wisconsin side. That's kind of fun to do. But Ian is running the Corvette today. Oh, I stay on, stay on the road. These dirt, the gravel roads are a bit sloppy because it rained and sometimes like they puddle up and they get muddy and then one side pulls you in. It's kind of like there's water in the road and like somebody drives through it and it pulls you into the curb. But with this on a dirt road, a lot of times you can't see those soft spots. It's not like a sit, sit, sit in water. So we're going to get down in town. That was, uh, that was probably the craziest call I've had since the farmer who was in his, he was in his John Deere tractor and pulling a, he was pulling a planter, I want to say, and he got ran off the side of the road and into the ditch. So very similar circumstance, but this guy was beat up a lot more than that guy. And he was in a big tractor with a big planter, only going like 20 25 miles an hour compared to 40 literally in a two-story building in a huge sprayer so that's uh i think he's gonna be all right but there could be internal bleeding there could be a lot of things we don't know i'm not a medical expert but i know he didn't look too good so that's the plan let's get in town stay on patrol and we'll hopefully get out of here a pretty easy day all right guys I posted up here on the wisconsin side and uh he was going 59 in a 50. heads up guys we got a bentley heading your way bright orange it was only going nine over i'm not going to chase him here but i could okay, only I see, see his head yeah oh, yep. he looks yeah, really really him. really young now he could be uh, a smaller person but just take a look All okay right. He's going by. Should we should we follow? Do you think? Uh, what did you guys see? Yeah, he's going pretty fast for the city, so I'm just gonna stay far behind. I'll make him scared, but uh. Yeah, don't yeah. light him up or anything. Let's see his. I could only see his head. Like that's not even like a like somebody who's like five foot tall. I feel like you'd still be able to. They would be sitting on a book or something. But yeah, I yeah, mean, he was yeah, peeking yeah. over his head like he was he was hiding behind the steering wheel. So I'm coming over, guys. Yeah, are okay. we doing other units? I think he's near the police station. Okay, police station. Yeah, he's, he's, he's there already. Up. He's heading up our road, yeah. Okay, Bentley. he uh, he definitely is speeding. That there's no way he would get. I to clocked that him time. nine over. You guys, you guys didn't get a clock on him. I wasn't able to. Okay. He seemed to have slowed down a little bit in the city, but definitely over definitely forty-five. Had a bit of speed. Where are you guys at? That's, I'm heading back up towards the station. I'm at the station right now. I think he's still going. Dang. I got eyes on him. Yep, I'm right behind you guys. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. It seems like we're in the line right now. <laughs> Give him some distance. We don't want to make any problems. Yeah. Okay. So he turned. It seems. What is? What is Go he ahead, doing? Throw your, throw your lights on. Throw them on. He's going down the Wai'i Road. All right. I'll light him up. Okay. Yep. Light him Here up. Here we go. Let's do this, guys. Enough for like oh, chasing him. Oh. Oh. Whoa. 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 Wait. 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 You guys good? He just went in the ditch. Why on what? a windy road? Okay. Right behind you. Where is he? Do you, do you uh, see him? Uh. Yeah. That's not good. Oh. Okay. Sir, hello? Where's the other unit? There you are. All right. Sir, can you hear us? Oh, Wait, he he's not a sir. Wait, that's not a, a sir. Bruh. He's a boy. He's a boy. That's, he's a kid, that's... dude. He's like 12 years. He's not even 12. He's like 10. What? Okay. Yeah, let's step him out. Here, buddy. We... Is, it, is the door opening? Yep. Wait, is this a kid that has the three-wheeler? Looks just like it. Here, buddy, follow us. Nice yeah. and easy. Get out of these bushes. I know you're afraid. Like his Let's... neck is uh, his neck is a little screwed up. Here, can you get inside my pickup truck? There we there go. go. Yeah, he's definitely injured a bit. All right. Uh, I'm... Here, I'm gonna make sure the engine's off, by the way, because I I don't know if he turned it off. <laughs> yeah, be careful, Garrett. Yeah. This door is like slanted, so. All right, guys, I got him in my truck. He's just hanging out. He says he's all right. No pain. He's just freaking out. All right. Who's cool. this? Must be his dad's or mom's car. Grandpa's. I don't even know. Holy biscuits. Is it, this is a Bentley. I just realized it's a Bentley. I thought it was a Jaguar. Yeah, I, I just turned off the engine. It definitely is damaged. It's making some weird... We should, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call tow trucks here. We'll get them here. Two tow trucks in like 30 that's, minutes. Uh, that's pretty crazy. That, I, when We were going down the road, right? It's a windy road. Yeah. Gravel road, slippery. It's got some race tires on it. And all of a sudden, he just darts off to the right makes a little bit of a turn rolls over I, for a Bentley I, it's actually holding up pretty good yeah no. yeah I I feel like he probably got scared scared from the lights and then he just wasn't paying attention that's what to... I was worried about because if he was actually kidding we and we turned on our lights like one if he ran that would be absolutely terrible but he's gonna freak yeah, out. yeah. is he shaking I think he's pretty yeah. scared yeah he's super he, scared. he's been very quiet too which well we lit him up right and he's 12 years or 10 years old or something like that he got pretty scared so mm -hmm. I think he sent it oh yeah <laughs> Or he That's just it. dropped the hammer and he's like, "Yeah, pedal the metal, baby." I don't know, but maybe you watch two. Maybe you watch Talladega Nights and I yeah, know. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna take him back. I'm gonna take him down to the hospital. We're gonna get him looked at. I'll get him in. Yeah, should we ask some questions here? I think we should probably ask him whose car it is. Yeah, I can. I'm just gonna take him down. I'm gonna get his parents' phone number. Call him. Okay. Yeah, right. definitely contact those parents because he's he's definitely not of age. <laughs> I agree. I agree. So let's uh. Go ahead, call in the tow truck, guys. Yep, okay. already doing, man. And then both these happen right next to the police station, too. Yeah, like, Maybe we should just stay at our desk and then when we just call. Why are you scared, scared of us? <laughs> so I'm going to take it back, guys. Go ahead, clean up the scene. All right. All right. Yep. Sounds good.
All right, guys, I'm going to take it down to the station now, and we should be good from there. I think I have like an hour or two left on my shift. What time is it? Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. I get off at 4.30, so two and a half hours. A little more than I thought, but we'll go take him down to the hospital. I think I think he's just fine. Just freaked out. All right, got him dripped off. Getting back to the station. I'm going to go re regroup with the guys. It sounds like they had to jump to a quick call. There was a neighborhood disturbance. It looked like they had a criminal in the neighborhood that was robbing from people's garages, but these guys are back now. Got that all cleared up. I think we have to do some paperwork. There we go. It actually looks like Garrett just pulled in, so that's good. So Garrett, I got the whole story. The parents actually met me at the uh, at the emergency room, and his name's Jeremy, and he was 13. So. 13? And yeah. wait, how did he get the Bentley? He took it from his dad's garage. It just, how, okay, parents need to be safer where, where they put the keys and stuff. That is, that's crazy that yeah. you could just grab it and go. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was just about to say that because I just looked at his ID or uh, his parents' paperwork. I was just filling it out, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Bentley's registered to his grandpa. Yeah, gotcha. to his grandpa. Uh, but his dad drives it around, which is crazy. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I think the insurance is under his dad, though. Gotcha. Wow. Well, you know what? Insurance is definitely gonna have to be called here because yeah, that thing is a goner. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, expensive sure. too. I've never I, I've seen a few Bentleys, but like pretty crazy to be out here and I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Usually you don't see Bentleys on these kind of roads. It's more yeah. like pickup trucks. We got him taken care of. He was 13. I, my guess, I was I was going to guess he was 11, 12, but he was 13. So yeah, yeah. He couldn't even see over the dash. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, you you were right about the young age. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to go run upstairs, do some paperwork, and I got an hour and a half left on my shift. So. Oh, All okay. Right. I, I'm done here, so you, you have fun with that. I will. Yeah. I'm heading all play <laughs> Fortnite with Garrett, or he owes me some stuff. There you yeah, go. Yeah, I got him to do my paperwork, but I have to give him some V-Bucks. Who carries who when you guys play? Who? Uh, I don't know. When we do duos, I don't know. We're pretty good. Oh, yeah. Dream right. team. I'm going to go run upstairs and get to work. All right. I'll, I'll see you at Cracks you. later. Yep, see you tomorrow. All right, butt liquor, have fun. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed, please let me know by smashing the like button. That's like the best way to let me know. Or if you're going to comment too, I mean, that's a pretty good way to let me know. But like I said, subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.